the chief and largest edifice on Palic, with the central promenade going straight through it. The Grand Terrace is the most important Art Nouveau building on Palic, designed by Deja Jakob and Marcel Komor at the beginning of the 20th century. Built in 1912, it was a place of gathering for spa visitors with a multi-purpose ballroom, a pastry, a restaurant, shops and two large, arch-shaped terraces. The front of the building is graced with two open terraces, decorated with a magnificently carved wooden balustrade, typical of the Hungarian Art Nouveau. The promenade that passes through the edifice splits the ground floor into two parts. There used to be a pastry shop in one of them, and in the other, a restaurant, both with spacious terraces overlooking the lake. There were a barber shop and a toy shop in apse-shaped bazaars that faced the park. They were taken down in the 1970s and then restored during the last and to this day ongoing reconstruction. The upper floor, which overhangs the passageway and connects the two units into a unified hall, can be reached via side staircases. In its center, there used to be a multi-purpose hall, where balls, concerts, parties and theater plays were organized. It looked out on the park, with a terrace above the bazaar, while the stage with the performance rooms and terrace had a view of the lake. This multifunctional building changed its functions in the 100 years since it was built. It housed a sports club, tennis was played in the Great Hall, there was an art colony in the basement, then a disco, and for a long time the building stood without any purpose. The reconstruction, restoration and revitalization of the building began in 2006 and continue to this day. Thus, it retains its multifunctionality. One of its planned future uses is the projection of movies. Today, the Grand Terrace is the largest business and congress center in Palic and Subotica. Due to its attractiveness, it still dominates the area of the Grand Park and along with other buildings, gives Palic a recognizable and unique charm. Its beauty is in its proportions, the combination of structural elements, the playfulness of the mass, shapes, colors and openings. The only decorations are the floral motifs engraved and perforated in its wooden parts. After many years of decline, the Grand Terrace is coming back to life.